So the final team, shopping. Uh, we have another mentor to introduce them. Uh, so I'd like to invite Chris up. Thank you, Chris. Hi, everyone. It's been a great afternoon. I've certainly got a lot out of the, uh, of the session so far, and I think you're going to get a lot out of our team as well. So a little bit of a background. Uh, we're retail strategists. We work with uh, medium to large retailers around New Zealand, around the globe. A lot of our work happens offshore. But um, what's connected us with this project is our work with New Zealand government, uh, various departments. I see a number of our clients in the audience today. Uh, but most importantly, our work with local government. We work with a lot of councils around New Zealand, helping with commercial resilience and town centre regeneration. One of the key issues around retail, obviously, as we know, is uh, uh, spending attrition online and commercial confidence in investing in bricks and mortar. Data is a key part of that, and being able to provide aggregated valuable data is really going to help drive the confidence of retailers, landlords, suppliers and the councils in encouraging people <coughs> to get back into bricks and mortar retail and in driving success in the sector. So uh, with that I'd like to introduce Graham who has led this project Shopin, uh, which we think is very exciting and has a lot of uh, opportunity. Thanks for that fantastic introduction, Chris. Kia ora koutou. My name's Graham Simpson, and I'm from Statistics New Zealand. Before I tell you about what the team and I have been up to over the last 12 weeks, I just wanted to start with some facts. Because after all, I am from Stats New Zealand, and we love a good juicy fact or two. Each year, over 20% of retail and hospitality businesses fail inside the first 12 months of opening. If that wasn't bad enough, this figure rises to over 60% within the first five years of opening. That's 30,000 retail and hospitality businesses closing their doors for the final time inside five years. Another startling figure is the fact that the retail and hospitality industry represented 16% of all job losses in the economy in 2014. Our product, Shopin, a web-based platform, will increase the chances of success for a retail and hospitality business so that not only will they survive, but they'll thrive and they'll grow into new areas. Shopping will, for the first time in New Zealand, combine available commercial property information with freely available <coughs> government held and private sector data about the people and areas surrounding those properties. Over the last 12 weeks, we've spoken with over 60 businesses, industry bodies, banks, estate agents and central and local government agencies. What's come through loud and clear throughout that engagement is the fact that location is absolutely critical to the overall viability of a retail and hospitality business. To illustrate this point, let me tell you about Tommy, owner of Tommy Millions Pizzas, one of our customers, and the pain he's experienced when trying to determine the suitability of a new location for his business. Now, Tommy was in the lucky position of having the estate agent approach him about a potential new site. But even though Tommy knew this agent, he could never be totally sure that the agent was neutral and objective, given the obvious pressures he was under to make that next sale. Tommy knew that understanding the area and the people in it was paramount. He had his customer profile in mind, but had no easy way of determining where and how many of these perfect customers existed. So Tommy and his business partners decided to take it upon themselves to try and find the information they needed to help guide their decision. But what they found was basically a mess. There was no central place that they could find that provided them with the information. But they carried on and they stumbled through a number of different government websites and slowly started to build up some sort of picture. But even then, after spending way longer than what they wanted to on this task, they struggled to actually understand what the information was telling them about the location. Tommy and the other 40 retail and hospitality business owners we've spoken to and tested our product with have confirmed that with shopping, these pains or these barriers will be no more. 
Shopping will not only allow Tommy to discover new locations based on his own personal criteria, using traditional property filters such as size and cost, but for the first time in New Zealand, he'll be able to find out so much more about the surrounding area using our customised data layers. Shopping will provide data insights to help steer Tommy to where he should set up his next shop or conduct more in-depth research. As an example, let's take a look, look at the foot traffic information sourced from CityLink for our MVP. Tommy knows how many people he needs to have walking past his shop each day to have a viable <laughs> business opportunity. Looking at this information, he can see the Cuba Street and Terrace, Lampton key areas have the highest foot traffic count across the Wellington CBD. Shopping provides summaries to help Tommy quickly determine a property and area suitability. He's also easily able to see how many people live and work in any given area using our dynamic maps and charts. But there's even more. He's now able to determine how busy he's likely to be during the day using our hourly foot traffic count. Absolutely crucial insight that will help him determine his opening hours and how his staffing levels. He'll be able to compare rental costs, average spend, and earthquake ratings for all properties. He's also able to determine the likely amount of competition he'll face in any given area. Looking at our competitor chart, he can see that the areas with the most highest concentration of likely competitors is in the Lambton and Willis Street areas. But while the simple interface and visualisations will make it easier for the 54,000 retail and hospitality businesses to access and use data, there's still a gap to be bridged to ensure this newly found data is turned into insight and knowledge off the back of which informed decisions can be made. This is where the next layer of shopping comes to the fore. It will provide expert advice from the likes of the First Retail Group, Hospitality New Zealand and Small Business Banking Advisors. Live chat functionality will provide instant access to data experts at Statistics New Zealand. We have support from each of these bodies to either help promote shopping or integrate their services into the platform. We also have a signed agreement with realestate.co.nz to surface their information within shopping via their API, meaning the information is continually updated automatically. This is yet another clear example of the benefit to business when private and public sectors share information via the power of APIs. I'm also stoked to announce that we've reached agreement with Stats New Zealand to fund further development of the product beyond its current MVP. Our MVP is focused on the Wellington region, so, adding more, so broadening the coverage of the product will be the top priority. The funding will also include back-end development, integration into a wider set of products and services, engagement with data providers, and adding more data in. All of this will be driven by the real needs of actual customers using the product. We'll be launching shopping during the current financial year, more than likely in early 2016. While we focused on the retail and hospitality industry for our MVP, there are many opportunities which exist for scaling the product so it adds value to a larger number of businesses across a, across a wide variety of sectors. For example, the planned introduction of office space will broaden the appeal. The creation of a benchmarking element, similar to that of Stats New Zealand's Industry Profiler or IR's benchmarking product, will help a large number of businesses assessing their cash flow situation or working on a business plan for investment purposes. Who are the team that bring you shopping? As I said, there's myself, Graham Simpson, Digital Publishing Manager at Stats New Zealand. We have Courtney Foon from the private sector, an experienced UX service design specialist. We have Craig Bentley, UI designer developer based at Stats New Zealand. And rounding out the team, we've got Robert Chu, Digital Product Manager, also based at Stats New Zealand. We're all passionate about helping these businesses and determined to deliver a truly customer-centric, data-driven solution. While we have agreements in place which we're hugely excited about, we do still need your help. That is to continue to open up your data in line with the Declaration for Open and Transparent Government. We'd also love to talk with you if you feel there's a connection between the products and services you're offering businesses and that which we're offering via shopping. And thirdly, if you know of any retail and hospitality business owners out there, we'd love to talk to them as we continue testing and developing the product into the future. We started the journey over the last 12 weeks, but now we need your help. 
so that rather than 60% of retail and hospitality businesses failing inside the first five years, we have not just Tommy succeeding, but we have 60% of all retail and hospitality businesses thriving and growing into new areas. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to showing you more of the product in a few minutes.